G'day! In today's video, I'm replacing the thermal paste on a Galax 2060 Super. Now, a little bit of a guessing game on what needs to be done here, but we will figure it out. Start off by taking off these four screws to begin with, potentially six. Go. No, not quite wanting to leave there. We'll proceed with these other two as well. There we go. And I reckon a slight twist. No. I'm not sure if it's stuck on by the thermal paste, the thermal pads, or an extra screw. Looking at it, we should be probably leaving. Oh, there we go. Look at that level of thermal paste. Not sure if that's factory. That is a, a, a whopper of a mount. If I disconnect over here, where someone has already attempted to disconnect, hold that down, wiggle, push that back down. Look at that. You said how much thermal paste should you have? I would say that's too much right there. Back down where he's meant to go. And let's try and clear up a crazy amount of thermal paste. At least how much spewed over the side there. There we go, now we're starting to look okay. Yeah. Personally, I like to use a little toothbrush on these. Some people say you do have a higher risk of damaging the little capacitors around the outside there. Can't say I've ever had that happen to me before. I don't know what kind of steel brush you're using to damage them. But this is moving between the gaps. There we go. There we go. Right, uh, next up, move him out of the way. Grab this cooler and look at that thermal paste. It is thick and chunky like tomato paste. It wipes up pretty easily. There we go. Very pretty happy with that. That one off, put this one back, put down some thermal paste, like a madman. Stuff is coming out very chunky. I took silver five, but it's coming out very fat. Now, yeah, some may say you should squeeze it, smear it around, prepare it. No need for that, it's fine. From here, what I like to do is stick that down first, then line up the holes as I lower it down. Where are we? There we go. 
Push down a little bit, and then we're right to put those screws back in. I'm going to, need to reconnect the fan in just a second. I think we should be okay just loosely connecting this up. Just going to do that so it stays. Fold it over. Would have been easy to reconnect that before I had put it all back together. But with the right pair of tweezers, should be able to still accomplish that task if I can find my tweezers. Here's a pair. Perfect for the task. Twist, push, wiggle in. Those tweezers worked very well actually. Okay, lay back down. Put my tweezers cover on so I don't stab myself with that by accident. And put these last few screws back in. Be much more comfortable with the amount of thermal paste that's on there now. And should be able to work different work angles. Like so. Put those four back in. And you should be right to go. Hope this helps. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.